We are with Connie Barone. She's here to talk about the 1812 Grand Tactical. Thanks for joining us yeah, this thank morning. You. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Mm -hmm. So it's going on this weekend, and yes. explain what it is. Well, um, every year between either the United States or Canada, the reenactors who focus on the War of 1812 have something called a Grand Tactical, and it's the biggest event of the season. So we have reenactors coming from Maryland, Michigan, uh, Newfoundland, Nova Scotia, all over. There, we have over 400 who've registered. Wow. wow. Yes, <laughs> plus six vessels. That's going to look amazing. It and is. It's a great history lesson, too. Well, it is. And we're really focusing on the education aspect of it. So we have a, a nice grant from the Community Foundation to bring in some specialists who are going to talk about life during that era. So we have a blacksmith uh, with a traveling forge who's coming from Ohio. Uh, we have some uh, singers who are coming from Maryland. Uh, do uh, sea chanties and um, just a little bit of everything, which really will be cool. fascinating, I think. It, it's easier to learn when you can watch it happen. Exactly. And they bring it to life for you so that you can see that. Yes. Is it free for everyone to it watch? It is free, yes. Though we hope people will buy into the tour of the Navy Yard, the Commandant's mm -hmm. House. We have a, a lot of volunteers who are going to be helping us in many aspects, including being in the Commandant's House to help people self-guide through the building. Yeah, so this is going on all throughout the weekend. Now, are there, are there multiple demonstrations then that will be yeah, going on? Yeah, something going on all the time. So we do have the military tacticals, which will take place uh, sometime Saturday morning and afternoon and Sunday afternoon. Uh, we also have English country dancers. So we have period musicians, and they are going to be performing Saturday at 4 and again at 8 o'clock at night. Uh, just something happening all the time. Uh, we're open at 9 o'clock Saturday, um, closing around 8, 9 o'clock at night. Sunday morning, it's 9 o'clock, and then the program winds down around 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Sunday. And it's for the whole family. Oh, definitely, mm -hmm. yes. This is uh, a great learning experience. Yeah, yeah, taking it back in time. A history mm -hmm. lesson that you get to watch right in front right. of you. Exactly, and talk to the people, too. That's the whole point, is to meet these reenactors who have really studied this time period yeah. very, very thoroughly. I mean, they don't break character. They are no. really into it. Yes, it's true. yes. And we have a doctor who's going to do some medical stuff, which oh, might really? be kind what, of... <laughs> what went on back then? <laughs> yes, which is not for the faint of no, heart. No, no. It's quite different from <laughs> modern medicine, I would yeah. imagine. But, I mean, even just the costumes alone, like I'm, I'm sure there's just a lot of work that goes into putting together these Very detailed. Yes. Very and detailed. Some of them are genuine, I know, that people have. Well, they make uh, copies from the originals, yeah. and yes, and so the people who come to this Grand Tactical are uh, doing this very authentically. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you really get to see, and some of this is wool that they were wearing. Yes. And yes. Trying yes. to figure that out. Like yes. that had to be yes. so hot, and they're going to be hot <laughs> this weekend. Yeah. Check yes. it out, though. Yeah. yeah. Just so impressive to be able to see all of this in person, this entire reenactment, and it's going on all weekend in Sackets right. Harbor. And this is, we're so uh, pleased and honored that they have chosen Sackets Harbor for this once again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Coming from yeah. all over. So you yes. don't want to miss it. All coming up this weekend. Thank you so much. Thank You're you. welcome. We'll be right back.